welcome back guys to another video of Island Gaming with Jay. Today let's talk about the recent Nintendo Direct. We saw some big releases and we saw some very interesting releases as well. Let's look at three of the most standard moments in this recent Nintendo Direct. But before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's get it. There was a lot of interesting announcements in this Nintendo Direct, but one of the first hype moments for me was when they announced that they were bringing the Game Boy to the Nintendo Switch via the, um, you know, the online feature. Now, um, we saw that they announced some good games, some really good games to the Game Boy. Um, Tetris, Mario, we had um, Metroid, Kirby, Wario. Yeah, uh, you know, um, Zelda. All these games were great games uh, for the Game Boy when they came out. Now, why this was a hyped announcement is because, you know, these were the games that I grew up with. These games, um, no doubt, would have influenced a lot of the games that you guys may have played today. So, you know, it, it really brought back a lot of nostalgia seeing these games, um, you know, so yes this was a, a very hype moment for me but not only that also they announced the Game Boy Advance now you guys don't understand how many hours I played um, you know the Game Boy Advance and you know it is such a good console you know overall you know it had so many games so many you know how they redefined Mario how they redefined Zelda on this game um, Zelda Wing Link to the Past, Mario 3, um, you know, all these things handheld was um, such an amazing feeling to, to play these games back then. So, they also announced the Game Boy Advance with a plethora of games coming to it, uh, in addition to what has been released right now. You can go right now and play most of the games you are seeing on the screen. Um, so, yeah, the first hype moment for me was when they announced the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance. The second most hype moment for me was when they announced Metroid Prime Remastered. Um, now, this game uh, is a very crucial game that Nintendo made for the GameCube. Um, it released on the GameCube and this was the first game that brought Metroid um, into the 3D space. Now, this game at the time was phenomenal the graphics that the GameCube produced at the time um, you know dog stumped any PlayStation 2 game um, this game was amazing when it released nothing that came out um, same time with it could have touched the way how this game looked and we could see how it looks today with a little you know um, remastering we know that the the Nintendo Switch is not as strong as the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X or S, but we can still see, you know, good, I wouldn't say great, but good detail in the Metroid Prime. It looks good. And it's out now, and you could only pay $40 for this game. So um, go check it out. Metroid Prime Remaster. This was the second most hype moment for me in the showcase. And of course, we all know what was the most hype moment of the Direct. Um, a new trailer for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We all know the anticipation um, that is building for this particular um, Zelda. Not only is it coming off the heels of The Legend of Zelda, but of the while, one of the most influential games um, in this generation and maybe every generation. But uh, to make this game, they took one of the longest periods of making Zelda um, to develop this game. So we are expecting a lot from this Zelda. Um, we saw a number of different, um, you know, gameplay mechanics, a number of new enemies. We just saw like those flying enemies and so forth. So a lot of persons, you know, just wanted more, wanted to see more of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and um, we got it here, we got a little more, we got a little taste, we saw um, Zelda 
on a flying craft. We saw him driving like a makeshift vehicle. You know, it was a very hype moment and I know there's a lot of persons waiting to play this game. Now, would this game do as well as The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? We'll have to wait and see. I mean, we have more Switch consoles out there now and um, it appears that the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild introduced more players to The Legend of Zelda. So we can expect this game doing great. Now the only controversy with this game is that this is the very first game that would be um, sold for 70 USD. Now I don't know why a Nintendo went this route. I mean, if it's one game they can get away with it, it's maybe this game. That is why they are trying it on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. However, um, I'm seeing this being an out for Nintendo in the sense that, you know, why would they decide to do this um, with this game? I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. But these are the three, or, or was the three most hype moments for me of the Nintendo Direct. Let me know what was your three most hype moments. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you in the next one. Later.